Earlier this week, mystery hackers tried to disable the WikiLeaks website. Now, WikiLeaks supporters have begun a global retaliation. Furious that MasterCard had begun refusing to process cash donations intended for WikiLeaks, on Wednesday, angry internet activists launched a massive cyber assault on the company, disabling its website. Visa and PayPal, who've also suspended services to WikiLeaks, are also being targeted. A WikiLeaks spokesman refused to condemn the hackers, instead describing the finance company's actions as unparalleled. This is very serious uh, and unparalleled that, that uh, these companies would take action against uh, uh, media organizations like uh, WikiLeaks. But we are looking into ways and means in, the, in getting uh, an open-up gateway so people can continue supporting us. We certainly need that uh, at these times. In Sweden, cyber attackers crashed the website of the state prosecutor and the lawyer of Assange's two female accusers. I don't know if there is a connection between our website being hacked and the WikiLeaks, but I suppose so. But I cannot say for sure. And I know that the police will investigate what has happened. Also, the prosecution side has been hacked. Julian Assange himself remains behind bars at London's Wandsworth prison. If the authorities had hoped that jailing the WikiLeaks founder would stem the flow of information, they were very much mistaken. Assange managed just three minutes' contact with his lawyer on Wednesday. We are incredibly hampered in our preparation uh, for the proceedings next week. And, of course, uh, we have a meeting with him tomorrow, but it looks like unlikely at this point that we're going to have the papers in time to have that uh, meeting in an effectual way. Julian Assange may know little about events beyond his prison cell, but what he set in motion is having far-reaching repercussions. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Wandsworth Prison in London.